Hey folks and welcome back to another tech video from D1 DLC. I'm Jake and today we'll be taking a look at how to replace your PS4's hard drive with the shiny new SSD. Now why would you want to replace the hard drive in your PS4 with an SSD? Well if you're sick of painful load times and overall sluggish responsiveness, an SSD is a great way to squeeze some extra performance out of your PS4. Hey, what? Yep, sorry, yep, recording video. Okay, so this may seem like a daunting task, but it's surprisingly simple. Here's what you'll need to get the job done. Your PS4, and we're using the original PS4. However, this process will differ slightly to the PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro models. An SSD to replace the old hard drive that's at least 160 gigabytes capacity and no thicker than around 9.5 millimeters. Don't worry, most if not all SSDs comply with this size. An external hard drive with enough storage space to back up everything on your PS4. This includes game files, saves and applications and any share videos or screenshots you might have. A USB flash drive which will need to be at least 2 gigabytes in size and a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's kick on and show you just how simple it is to replace that sluggish old hard drive with a new lightning fast SSD. Today we'll be using the relatively new Samsung QVO 1TB SSD for its generous capacity and relatively low price point. Okay, so step 1. Back up your current PS4 image to your external hard drive. Simply go to the settings menu, system, back up and restore, then back up PS4. Step 2. Download the latest PS4 operating system software to your PC via the link in the description of this video. This will download the PS4 update.pup file. Insert your flash drive into your PC and create a folder called PS4. Inside this folder, create another folder called update. Then copy the PS4 update.pup file from your PC to the folder you just created. Step 3. With your PS4 backup done and the PS4 operating system files ready to go, unplug everything from your PS4 and ensure the power cord is removed and the PS4 is completely powered down. Slide off the shiny bezel from the top of the PS4 to expose the hard drive cage. Remove the single screw holding that cage in place and slide out the hard drive. Remove the four screws from the cage holding the hard drive in place and slide out the hard drive. Now simply slide the SSD ensuring that the SATA power and data ports are towards the back of the cage and secure the SSD with the four screws we just removed. Slide the cage back into the PS4 and screw in the final screw to secure the cage in place. Step 4. Before powering on the PS4, ensure that the USB flash drive with the PS4 OS files is inserted in one of the PS4's USB ports. Hold down the power button on the PS4 for around 7 seconds, or until you hear two audible beeps. Release the power button and you should see the safe mode boot up screen. From here, select the initialized PS4 and follow the prompts to install the operating system from the USB flash drive. Step 5. Once the operating system is installed, simply connect your external hard drive and navigate back to the system menu. Select Backup and Restore, and Restore PS4. Then select your external hard drive, select the backup image, and select Restore. And that's pretty much it folks. Once the restore is finalized, you'll be ready to take your new SSD powered PS4 out for a spin and enjoy some improved boot, load times, and super snappy UI response times. Hopefully this video shows you just how simple it is to replace the PS4's hard drive and get some extra performance out of your console. But is the upgrade really worth it? If you're curious about just how much of a difference this makes to performance, you can check out our PS4 SSD load time comparison video real soon for some real world benchmarks. So thanks for watching today folks, I uh, hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can bring you more great content and I'll see you next time. Oh, you're, uh, you're still here. Well, since I have you, 
you know the D1 DLC crew record a podcast every second Tuesday at Harry's Bar in Adelaide? Why not come along, have a laugh and meet the gang? Check out harrysongrandfell.com.au for details and we'll see you there.